Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to attach bones to a character in Anime Studio Pro. Tutorial. Now for this tutorial I already have a character, my main character right here. And of course we have put him in a bone layer. And what we are going to do, we are going to put uh, bones on in front of his body parts and then we are going to connect those bones uh, with the body parts so that uh, we can move the body the character so let's start with that um, first I start uh, by taking the add bone tool and I will draw a bone first right here on the hips like that and then um, what I do I make a, a new bone for the leg the right leg and make sure that this bone is uh, red right here if I take the select bone tool and I select away from it uh, this bone is not selected but you need to make sure that when you draw a bone right here it is selected with this one that way they are connected so I take the add bone tool and I'll just draw a little bone right here on his leg and a second one right here and one in front of the shoe then what I do I go back to this bone the hip bone and then I make another bone for the left leg and same thing another one here and another one on the shoe and the reason why we do it like that is if I take the reparent bone tool you see these bones are now all connected with each other and by selecting uh, the bone and then drawing the bone uh, they will be connected and that is very important because you need to have it like that otherwise it's uh, it's not it's not going to work and uh, the character is not moving the way you want so first I select the hips bone again and then we are going to re make bones for the rest of his body we make a two bones for his body first like this and then for his arm two bones right here and a one for his hand then I go back to this bone right here and I'll draw a bone for his neck just a little one and then finally I'll draw a bone for his head so now if I would take the manipulate bones tool which is the bo which is the tool that we use for moving the bone and you would move it then you see obviously it's not working the way we want to so if I go back to frame 1 it goes back to normal everything that is going to be done on frame 0 uh, will be removed if you go to any other frame so first uh, as you can see there are uh, certain uh, regions surround these bones that is uh, those are the strengths of the bone and we are going to remove them by selecting all the bones right here and then take the bone strength tool hold your mouse and then move to the left and then they all disappear so now we are going to connect the bones uh, with the body parts and there are different methods of that but uh, we are going to use two different methods um, one is with the bind layer tool and we'll do that for the head um, this is the bind layer tool and I see that the, because it's uh, red like this uh, I can see that it's already connected with uh, the head it uh, has done, automatically uh, it has been connected with this bone so then I go to the hips and this one is not selected so you take the bind layer tool and you click right here and now the hips are connected with this uh, with this bone right here and the same thing we are going to do for the hand right here we are going to select this bone and finally also for the neck we are going to select this bone uh, the other part the other body parts uh, for that we are going to use a different method and that is with the bind points tool so let's start with the right leg we select the first bone this bone right here while you're on the right leg layer and then what you do you take the bind points tool and then you select all the points right here of the leg and then you click on bind points 
and then we are going to do the same thing for this bone right here we select it we take the bind points tool but this time we only select these points right here and then you click on bind points and the same thing will be done for this bone right here but for this one we are also only selecting a few points and I'm going to use last mode for this and we are only going to select oh only going to select these body parts these points I mean right here and click on bind points so if I would take the manipulate bones tool and I move this bone right here you see the whole leg is moving with it but if I move this uh, bone only thi this part is moving and this doesn't move at all which makes it look like it, it's bowing and for the shoe it's doing the same thing now as you can see we have to correct a few things right here this is not moving the way we want we'll get to that uh, within a minute but first I'm going to go back to frame one and then I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the the other leg there we go now if you would move the points you see it's going exactly like the other leg so now we are going to do the same thing for the body and the arm for first we start with the arm and we select this bone right here and then we select all the oh deselect last mode and then select all the points and then click bind points and for this one we only select these points right here so it will look like this finally we will start with the body parts and for the body if I go to the layer with this bone I will only select these points right here and I click bind points and for this one I will only select oh only select this bone and then take the bind points tool and only select uh, these points right here and then click on bind points so then if I would move the bones you see now it looks like he's bowing like this and with this is with this bone he's moving his entire body except right here which is exactly as we want now you can uh, correct a few things if you would like if, if it doesn't move goes the way you want like for instance with the legs right here if you would move these legs it's not going the way we want uh, for that we are going to use the smart bone tool um, and what we do we go we are going to uh, window actions and we select uh, the bone right here and we go to the bone layer and the name of this bone is uh, b3 in this case uh, you can change the name but we just leave it like it is for now so what you do you make a action and you call it b3 just like the bone and then while you're on frame one you take this tool and you move the bone like this and then you go um, to the right leg and then you move the, it just as you want kind of like this and if you go back to the main line you take the manipulate bones tool it's moving exactly as you want so uh, I'm going to do that for uh, this leg left leg also there we go now it's moving the way we want so um, there you go that's how you uh, 
do uh, make bones uh, to a character or any other object so and of course you don't have to do it exactly like this uh, you just have to see uh, which kind of method uh, which kind of uh, binding uh, for bones uh, works for you and anyway i hope you guys uh, learn a lot about this and if you have any more questions uh, leave them in the comments below and i hope to see you all in the next video if you like this video and you want to see more, then please subscribe to this channel. I put new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make animations myself, I will upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested you can watch those too. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you all in the next video.